Hello, my name is Sarah Ibrientos. I am a student at United Medical Institute in Citrus Heights. I am in my Mod 3 and I am doing my externship at Capital Pediatrics Cardiology. For my Capstone 3 video, I will be going over a quick protocol of an echocardiogram as well as going over the transducers and nevologies used throughout the protocol that assess the functionality of the heart. The transducer here is called a phased array transducer. The smaller footprint allows us to image between the ribs of the patient and other smaller cavities. Before we begin, we be sure to thoroughly disinfect the transducer probe, making sure that we clean the very top as well as the handle and cord because sometimes it can get really messy. And then afterwards, we go ahead and place the gel directly on the probe as follows. In this clinic, we scanned with our left hand, therefore we must pay special attention to where the indicator is pointing. So for this particular window I'll show you, the indicator will be pointing right towards me and the transducer is in my left hand. So here are the common buttons I'll be using for this part of the protocol. This particular view is called the four chamber view. This view is very important to establish ventricular size and atrial size. It is also useful for identifying any cardiac hypo or hypertrophy. This view can also identify blood flow through the mitral, tricuspid, aortic valve, and pulmonary valve if possible. And as you can see, when I place color Doppler on the mitral valve, you can see the blood flow that is moving. So red is towards the probe and blue is away. And while color Doppler is on, we also place a pulse wave Doppler right at the outflow track of the valves to assess for diastolic dysfunction. And if it's not caught right away, it can lead to heart failure in the future. And afterwards, we utilize continuous wave Doppler to assess if there are any higher velocities that may have been missed, like regurgitation. Afterwards, we perform the same assessment to the aorta and the aortic valve, as well as the tricuspid valve. As mentioned earlier, a buccal four chamber view is a great way to assess the overall size of the heart. Um, knowing the size and Doppler signals can help me figure out where else I should pay close attention to as I continue throughout the protocol. Afterwards, a full anterior and posterior sweep of the heart is performed to assess for any ventricular or atrial septal defects. And once we're all finished, we just go ahead and wipe down the probe thoroughly with a clean paper towel and then disinfect it with a sani wipe so that it is all ready for the next patient. And yeah, that is all. Thank you again for watching.